Welcome to the Masquerade Ball, everybody. <laughs> the audience is just through there. Yay! Saturday on the West End. Saturday, 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 Saturday night in the West End. Saturday night in the West End. Count how many times we've said that in this vlog. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. It feels like it has been forever since it's just been me and you. So I thought today, as it's a Saturday, we could do a little double show day in the life. Um, for anyone who's new, hi, my name's Dave. Uh, I am currently in the Phantom of the Opera in London and I play uh, Ubaldo Piangi, who is basically within the world of the show. He's like the lead tenor in the Opera House. So, uh, yeah, we've got two shows today. Uh, so I thought I'd bring you along and see what shenanigans we got up to. Uh, so yeah. I hope that you enjoy this video. Uh, also, what's fun is that I get to go home and see Soph and Barney and Chip tomorrow. Here she is, ready for a glorious two-show day, His Majesty's Theatre. Is there a more beautiful West End theatre? I don't know. She is a stunner. And in case you're interested, so that's the front of the building there. This is the side, that's stage door. And my dressing room is... That middle one, directly under where it says Majesties. Uh, so yeah, if you ever want to see if I'm around, you can uh, just look there. If I'm ever inappropriately dressed, I'll always put the thing down. So don't worry, if it's open, I have clothes on. <laughs> also, last time we brought you here, I don't think these were up. Uh, and it's pretty exciting. I kind of feel a bit weird that yeah, you'll see. It's actually quite hard to see in this light, but there's your boy on top of an elephant. How weird is that? Picture on the front of the theater. Hilarious. Also peeking through right here in Masquerade. So yeah, for context, that's where the photo is. Right out front. And then also, my everyone's favorite coat, well, my favorite coat. Manager's one on the side of the theatre. Pretty surreal. Like, actually wild. So. so, I've picked up my key, we're heading upstairs. This is the Christine room. We're a bit further up than that. We've got, this is the first floor, so we've got Phantom along here. And Raoul has his own little nook. And we're a bit further up than that. <laughs> here we are, level two. And this is ours. So here we are, number 2.4. Me, I mean this, never gets old. I can't, but, I mean I know it's just like my name on a plaque, but never had it before, so. <laughs> One thing I haven't showed you, by the way, is these cool little post box things. Basically, our amazing sound team check all the mics, and then when we're in warm up, usually they'll drop them off for us to get ready later on. So they're just ready and waiting for us when we get here. So, just luxury, luxury. That they, that they take care of all that for us. Excuse me, I really need a haircut. Right, here we go. So, it is uh, about 20 past 12. We have warm up at one, so I'm here a little bit early, which is kind of how I like to do it. Uh, just A, so that I'm not running late, but also, uh, especially towards the end of the week, when we've been singing all week, uh, I like to do like a little pre-warm-up warm-up that I've been given by uh, we have an amazing like singing coach who sometimes works with us uh, and she gave me some bits and pieces to do so yeah just to kind of keep the voice healthy and um, prepared because eight shows a week is no joke 
Um, so yeah, going to do a little bit of that. Uh, I did put a little box on Instagram asking what people wanted to see from today. There was a lot of talk of snacks. Uh, what I've been doing, especially on double show days, because it just makes things a lot easier, is prepping my food. So today, we have... Um, these don't look particularly appetizing because they've been pre-prepped. But I have some... Uh, these are like cheeseburger tacos. Um, and they're, they're basically just like... <clears throat> Uh, beef and cheese and uh, burger sauce on a taco, but uh, they're really good uh, I would normally if I was making them fresh I'd put lettuce on them, but obviously when lettuce sits it's never the best so uh, Not today um, And then we also for dinner have uh, this honey barbecue chicken and high protein mac and cheese, which uh, is a really good recipe that I got. It doesn't look that great now, but actually it reheats really well, which is one of the reasons why I love it, because a lot of meal prep dries out when you reheat it. This is really good. So that is uh, food for the day, pretty much, sorted. Um, and then, yeah, I do have some bits and pieces of snacks that I'll probably pick up. Later on, maybe treat myself to a little sweet treat for between shows. Uh, but yeah, so for now, I'm just going to do a little bit of a warm-up and uh, get ready for the proper warm-up, which I will take you down to. And we'll get ready for some shows. Until you film yourself doing something that you realise just how ridiculous it looks first from someone else's point of view. When you're doing it, doesn't feel weird at all. So, I'm ready for warm up. It can get sometimes quite chilly down there because it's like a big, a big room with lots of seats in it. So, I wear a jumper which is this Disney Parks jumper but particularly uh, appropriate for this time of year because if you look very closely it's got Christmas lights on all of the the Epcot uh, ball, Spaceship Earth and then um, Tower of Terror so yeah I've been wearing this for the last little while I also have like a really long t-shirt on under it because we do like a lot of stretching and stuff just to keep me covered and feeling nice and comfortable um, but yeah to keep warm Disney! Here she is Wow! So beautiful. How are we, friends? Good. How are you? Good. Yes, yeah, good. <laughs> How are we on this beautiful, glorious Saturday? It's beautiful. Ready for a Christmas? Yes. And this guy? Hello. My friend of old. <laughs> My friend, Dave. Yes. You get in. You get in. Ah. Oh, gorgeous. Just a couple of Robert Groves on the West End together. Yes, playing the parts, treading the ball. Good God, we needed that. Tactile. Yeah. See. <laughs> see. See. No, I just say see. No, it's it's called character. That's it. I'm just too in character. Always if anything. For anyone who's seen the show, actually, even from the picture outside, this is my elephant friend, which I climb. Hi. It's me. Poachers have taken the bloody tasks. What's going on here? This is how I was balls, my friend. Is it? Every week you pay a pound, you pick a ball, and if your number comes out in the interval of the second show, you're a winner. Don't gamble, kids. Sign me up, boys. Uh, yeah, we'll sort it out in a minute. Hang on. I don't want to give away my secrets. Andre Saturday, baby. <laughs> 
Signora Bella Signora Bella <laughs> Something like that anyway Ooh, every time we do this warm up makes me think of the holiday because it's the one that he's like are you embarrassed by this game I've started to play? I think it's Chariots of Fat. No, I can't remember what the the movie it's from. <laughs> and look, like I said, like magic, the sound team have dropped off these mics. So, legends. Talking of feeling silly, <laughs> we're asked not to wear outside shoes for on, you know on stage. Understandably, because they can be like dirty and stuff, so I have to put on like my <laughs> my like proper boots, but with my warm up pants. So I always feel a bit silly. So time check is now one thirty one. Oh, that's weird. It's the same back to back and front. Anyway, look at Barney's little face. Um. So yeah, basically <clears throat> we have an hour to well just under an hour till the show starts because beginners is 25 past so that the show can start at 2.30. Uh, so I just get my makeup on, get my costume on, so I'll show you that now. Uh, <laughs> I did have a couple of people say that they want to see the whole uh, makeup routine, so I'll try and show you some bits of that. It's, uh, I mean, it's not particularly uh, elaborate, um, but yeah, we'll see what we can do. Okay, let's do that now. Oh, also I've got my mics on. You might be able to see that there's two like little mic heads there. That's basically just in case I get sweaty and uh, <laughs> and like sweat gets clogged in one of the heads so they can switch to the backup if they need to. We are starting, sorry, excuse me, I've got a little um, Jakeman's throat sweet just to soothe. Oh, take off my wedding ring. Oh, Marley skin, look at me. I'm like such a beauty influencer now. <laughs> so, this is like a basically like a barrier so that it doesn't uh, the makeup doesn't get like clog up my pores and stuff I guess uh, oh. also the reason why this is like so wide and you can see my chest here is because uh, again it's till they just catch sweat but you don't want to see it under the costume so that's why it's got like a really wide neck um, so that it's not seen uh, there we go so Foundation, we're using Charlotte Tilsbury Airbrush Flawless. Now with this particular look, it's gonna look very over the top, but that's because it's for an opera within the show. So it's supposed to look very over the top, sort of like operatic makeup. Fine, so then we go on to eyebrows which again are supposed to be you know obviously very prominent because they are uh, in an opera I kind of go for like anime style like uh, Dragon Ball Z like angry the the character within the opera is like a soldier who's come back from war to find uh, that Rome has invaded and stuff so uh, he's like I get this feeling of like I don't know, I feel like he'd be like a warrior that's got like, I don't know, big eyebrows that, that are frowning. <laughs> And then honestly, one of the hardest things now is just to make it even on the other side, to make it even on both sides. Because if you start, this is really the, if, if this is uneven, then all the rest of the eye pretty much ends up uneven, which it might still do. So yeah, prominent eyebrows, big feature. Then we move on to green. 
then gold, then yeah, other stuff later. So with the green, we're kind of just doing the eyelids and then some sort of like flourishy wing on the outside. Yeah, okay, I'll deal with that. And the same with the gold, water spray, and we just fill in the gaps, baby. Good afternoon, Phantom Company. The house is now open. Please. Pretty much it. Yeah. The house is now open. Please look across that stage. Thank you. And then <clears throat> we also have like a shimmer gold as well to bring out the gold, which I like. That just goes over the top. Then we've got a bit of uh, black grease paint. It's probably the hardest bit for some reason. We do like a little Egyptian flourish, I believe it's Egyptian makeup type. Uh, like a little extra here. See, I told you it was the hardest bit. Then it's just white for the inside of those. And then this is the look pretty much. We've got a setting spray. Next setting spray. Sprayed. And that's it. That's makeup. And so I'm going to wait uh, for someone from wigs to come in and they will sort of prep my hair. I don't have a wig for this first scene because I've got a helmet on. Uh, but they put my um, they put my mics in and clip them into my hair and then sort of like make sure that my hair is off my face so that you don't get all of this. So for Hannibal, which is the first scene, I start in this like full bodysuit thing that they call the poo suit because you're like Winnie the Pooh in it. And then I have these sandals that go up to my knee. Then I wear these underneath, which probably no one ever sees, but I'll show you them now. So this is what those look like. They're sort of like big, sort of breechy pants. And they would have these like big uh, elastic braces on them. And then, and yes, yeah, so in the shorts as well. And then that's the, that's the, where they stop basically. And then I have these sort of cuffs. Wow, it's gone really <laughs> orange in here. Hang on one sec. I think it's these mirror lights, sorry, it's gone bit orange but anyway I have uh, these cuffs that I wear so there's quite a few layers to this one but it's nice because it feels like the the weightiness of it is is very unreal <laughs> unlike what I would wear in my life it's quite unusual so it's it's nice because when you put the costume on it really feels like you're in the character. I would never wear sandals like these. Do you know what I mean? That kind of thing. I also have this beard, which I will put on. I've just realized I don't have, I need to wait until they do my hair stuff to actually keep it on. But this is the extra beard that I have. <laughs> I keep joking with Sophie that I'm gonna grow it out like this. And she uh, does not react well to that. So for now, <laughs> we'll leave it off. <clears throat> Tonight rejoice your ambiance! Mm, fine. Gotta have a blast of the old top note before we go out and do it, just to make sure it's there. Especially on a two show day, because it's earlier. But it's fine. It's there. <laughs> this isn't a ritual per se, but on a, on a matinee I do love myself. But if anyone knows me, they know that I love a monster. Come in! Hi. Hi. How are you? Tired, but I'm good. Tired. How are you? It is. It's early for us theater it's people, early. and you're in all the time. All the time. So this is Tiffany. Hi. She is gonna do my prep. Uh, they're probably absolutely sick of hearing my voice. So what? What are you doing? 
What am I doing? Yeah. I am. So it's changed now. Yes. Your prep because we used to wear a little bandage, but we don't need that now. No, so we, all we'll I'm that later, do, but not now. Not now. Not for Hannibal. You don't wear a wig now. No. Well, I don't. I, I've never worn a wig for Hannibal. No. But um, we just basically what we did was set up all the all the stuff for the wig earlier, mm. but it was picking up makeup, which in for this scene's only seen that I wear makeup, so um not cute. Not cute. Not cute. Just made the top of my head look very dirty for some <laughs> reason. So we're just gonna clip your hair back so it doesn't go Thanks. into your face. Because no one wants that. No. And then um, we're just gonna clip your mic in. Thanks. You're welcome. That's better. <laughs> if you could see the setup. I don't have the proper tripod, I've only got like a little one and it doesn't fit on there. Why? You need a better one. Oh my god. <laughs> That's safe. I'll show you in a minute. Mm hmm That's cute. But um but yeah. yeah. But you're okay? Yeah. Been a nice okay. day so far. Been a nice day. Everybody's offering me biscuits. That's I nice. Love. Would you like a banana loaf? Oh my god. Yes. Can I? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. They're Barney's favourite. So I I when I whenever I get them I it makes me with them. Thank you. You're very welcome. You keep me well fed. You keep me looking, <laughs> well, more gorgeous than... But I think you should go on like this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why not? Never looks better. Why not? To be fair, it's like, it always feels much better when it, my hair gets done here because I don't, there's no, especially on a two show day, there's no point in really doing anything with my hair because yeah. it just sits under wigs. Absolutely not. And you work very hard, get very warm. No point. Yeah. Well, I wear a lot of costumes, get very warm. <laughs> a lot of this costumes. This alone, absolutely yeah. not. But, uh, but it's fun times. Um, we love it. We love it, yes. Is that pulling anything? No, not at all. Do you want it a bit further over? Uh, oh yeah, maybe actually. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. There? Yeah, perfect. Gorgeous. Lovely, thank you so much. Done. I'm Have going home now. A wonderful day. Well, that's it, the important bit's done. <laughs> the only reason I came in. Great, yeah. <laughs> I'm not even meant to be here. <laughs> <laughs> it was someone else's job, but you I can't. I've only had banana loaf. <laughs> Bye. Bye, thank you. And now beard time, which just makes me look even sexier. I'm gonna just show you now what your can you see? It's a, a mug and then my hairpin box. You probably can't see very well. But basically, it's just a bunch of things that shouldn't really be holding up a pretty expensive camera. Oh, and one thing I always try and do, or try and remember to do, is have a little spray. Come in! Right, I'm gonna see what mischief I can get up to. Let's see what Joe is up to. I thought I'd come and pay you a little visit and see what you're up to. Yes, of course. Hi, how are you? Oh, wow. I'm good, thank you. Good. How Excited for a two show Saturday? I, I am, I am. You know, it's going to be fun practice. times. Thanks. This is my favourite look, I think. I, I think this should think be the Hannibal look. Yes, it suits you down to the ground and up again. Hello. Thanks. Hi. I like this camera. Thanks. Like camera. Thank you. We've had it for a while. You should, yeah, they're good. I would recommend. Yeah. I yeah. think they're like a point and shoot. I'm not usually ready this early to come around and see everyone, so I don't normally <laughs> you, come down you at this point. You certainly are ready. I am ready. Boom, boom. So, <laughs> I like to call this my alternate. You can't really see, but if the genie from Aladdin had a different <laughs> colour costume, because he's like blue, but it's quite similar. Well, I think, let me just walk you through my little space. I yeah, guess. thanks. Okay, so well, that's kind, you know. Basically, huh. we've got old man Raoul. Yeah. And young man Ralph. Can we just talk about your wig? It's like my favourite wig in the show. I do like it's my wig. It's beautiful. And you helped lovely. you helped with it, right? With yeah, the design. We, we kind of it was a bit of a collaboration thing because we wanted to get it right. Yeah. Kind of, so the, the colour was similar to mine and yeah. the texture was um, it had like a different curl pattern that was a bit looser. Um, and then obviously we had the whole sideburn scenario and Listen, right. I can only do so much. <laughs> Sideburns need to stay. Apparently. Okay. So, 
Here we are. Fine. Um, but I think they actually work. Like, once yeah. I had them on with the costume and everything, they, they actually work and it's very period. So They're a subtle really, sideburn. They are, it's a subtle sideburn. It's a nice subtle sideburn, I think. Um, and then here we just have, well, we have my grandma and my granddad. Wow. We have, um, yeah, my loved ones, really. And this is a picture from opening night, our bows and the oh, opening night. Oh, cool. And then if you, if you go over here, yeah. This is a picture of all of us from That's opening night. so cool. I love that, that photo. I've seen that one. Yes. Yes. Um, and as well as we You've made it, it yourself, your I own. Kind of had, I'm, I'm trying to make it my own. This was when they had a little Lego box at front of the, at the front of um, as soon as you come in stage door. Oh yeah. And so oh, basically, yeah. I uh, I thought, why not do a little? Um, That's wild. Why not try and make myself? You know, I play the saxophone and. That's and so I, cool! And I, uh, and I love Gryffindor. Well, I am a Gryffindor. You are a Gryffindor. Um, so, yes. And, nice! And then we kind of tried to make it nice and throw pillow. Just trying to show the scale. It's a really nice yeah, dressing room. it's a nice, it's kind of long... Um, the vibe in here is really nice though. Yes. You've created a really nice vibe, I think. I, I've tried to. I think it's just like, I wanted it to be a... So for um, Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, actually, I mean, I do have my big well, camera. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's, this is for photography, really. Gotcha. Um, and yes, if you if you venture over to here, you'll Ooh. see. Joe's talent creation <laughs> station. Yes. So here we basically Love have that. everything that's my magic talent juice that gives me talent because I don't have any. No, really, that's all absolutely it, untrue. It exists here. So. <laughs> A yes. singer's essential. Absolutely, you'll Don't see a big one of those upstairs also. Yes, yes. And danger, there's a smeg shop right there. Oh like, god. And it's on the corner. Yeah. So therefore... Everything's um, shiny. They've got like cars that are freezers. I know. I'll, I'll show it to you on the way back where it's mental. It's very know. cool their, though. Their marketing is on point. It's so on point. They, they make people buy the things. And yes, I'm just about to I love the it. lights as well. Huh. So... <laughs> yes, the lighting. <laughs> this is actually shout out to Mr. Matt Blaker uh, because he he was round before me. Yeah. Um, put these up with my my personal dresser Naomi. He okay. Also shout out to her. She's my lifesaver. Wouldn't wouldn't exist. Legend. This wow. Um, so this is how it usually is. Got you. And then, this is so Christmassy, actually. And then, but then for Christmas time, we go like this. Yeah, yeah. even more Christmassy. Oh Ooh. God, love it. Okay. Well, listen, I'm gonna let you prepare. Thank you so much. It was no, really nice. It was really nice. I only popped in to say hi, actually. No. But <laughs> yeah, thank you for the tour. Thank you. Have a lovely two show day. Have a lovely. I'm sure I'll see you at some point. Yes, uh, yes indeed. I'll On the boards. <laughs> On the morrow, sir. Oh yes. So I'm a bit late because I got caught talking to Joe, um, and it, I mean, how nice was that? Like that was so unexpected. I had literally just shoved the camera in his face, and he gives a full tour of his room. So that was so nice. So anyway, I'm late, but what I'm doing is now, as you can hear, the kettle is on, and I'm pouring a throat comfort tea, uh, which is basically just it's got slippery elm in it, which is my favourite name for an ingredient ever, uh, and it's supposed to be it's like licorice -y kind of like flavor and it's just nice for your throat uh, and yeah so I pour that now uh, you're supposed to let it sit for like 10-15 minutes and then after Hannibal when I'm done with this I'll come up I've got a little bit of time to chill get changed and uh, have my cup of throat tea so that's my one of my rituals that I do every day basically now so here we go So that can sit there now. This cup keeps things warm for so long. It's the best. Quick re-warm up. And uh, I think we're just about ready to go. We've had the five. So Garth will be in in a minute to help me get ready. So exciting. Hi. <laughs> this is Gar. Hi. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. you. Excited for this show day? I am. Yes. I'm yes. a bit shocked. But I can a bit shocked. Sorry. Okay. Fine. Garth's the shy and sensitive type, so I, I won't put my camera in too much in his face. But everyone wanted to, to see you, so oh, good, I just wanted. I literally, they were like, "We want to see the tech people and the dressers and everyone who helps you get ready." So Garth takes such good care of me, truly. So anyway, we had to include him. So let's get ready for the show. What am I doing? Okay. 
those of you. Just what we do every day, yes, all the yes. time. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, thank you. That's fine. <laughs> oh, excuse me. If I thought you really meant it, I wouldn't have actually. Oh, no, that's fine. No, sorry, good. Good. It's not like it's case, Is it? You, can it's you not. stick it down a little bit? Is that possible? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Does that feel okay? Yeah, fine. As long as it's not flailing about. No, sorry. It's not putting your head back on your knees. No, 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 no. <clears throat> this way. <clears throat> so are you you're going back home tomorrow? Tonight, tomorrow. Sorry. Tomorrow morning, yeah. yeah. What are you up to for your Sunday? Um, <clears throat> just sort of sorting, trying to get all my Christmas presents and just oh, of pour course. a list and then want to see what I've got to do. I've just been so annoying with that, just pouncing with that quickly. Because I think they've had lots of time and it's just zoomed by. Like, I know, I can't about. believe it's like literally a week. I know, tomorrow. I thought, what, you know, I think it's been great, isn't it? Trying to just pouncing with that. <laughs> yeah. so once you're like, focused and you've got a plan, it's no, much exactly. easier, isn't it? So. Thank you so much. I don't know why you're. No. <laughs> yeah. Wake up. <laughs> right, see you Happy? Uh, yeah, Great. Thank you, you so much. Bye. Right, so we're ready for the first show, first scene. Let's do it. Right, so we're off. I think the show might have started actually, but if not, we're very, very close. I always feel so funny, like, do, 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 do. like there's just so many layers to this costume. It's wild. It's screaming down here. In filming and filming. Oh, no, no, no. Hi, no. Hi, Felix. No. How are you? Not too bad. This is you know our favourite bit of the whole show, isn't it? So there's a, li hat. there's a little hat thing where Felix has to put my. Your hands smell nice. I've just done You've been lemon, lemon, oh, lemon, lemon, lemon scented hand sanitizer. Nice. That is, it works. It's really nice. Cool. But yeah, thank you. There's a little. Uh, hi. Hi, everyone. Okay. Sorry. Hi. The show started, so we have to be quiet now. I'll see you in a bit. And we're done. I actually got caught on the top of the elephant, which I'll tell you about in a minute, but it's all good. Fun times. So, I don't know if you can see. You know, I said I was sweaty. I've got like makeup running everywhere. Um, and you saw how much of that uh, setting spray that I put on. I do usually, I was gonna say, the reason I put a lot on is because sometimes this happens, it's very warm today. Uh, so yeah, so basically what happened was I climbed the elephant as normal and then there's like a, a like a, what do you call it? What's the word? Sort of uh, embellishment on the cape, which is like a, like a rope with a, a bobble on the end, and the bobble got caught in between this like rod, like a like a steel sort of wiring, which is there for me to be able to pull myself up and stuff like that. It's great, but um, but yeah, for whatever reason, it just got wrapped in it, and <laughs> just is like, oh no, I can't get off. Uh, and then I tried to like undo it and it wouldn't work, so I literally just had to yank it. And like, I, I really hate it because it means I then broke the costume, essentially someone's got to fix that. But I was like, they're going to show stop if I don't do this, so I literally was like... It was fine, I mean, it, it sounds like a huge deal, but it was over in like three seconds. But three seconds on stage feels like a really long time, so yeah, now... I get to take this off, and I actually don't wear any more. I think I said this before, but I now don't wear any more makeup for the rest of the show. So we are going to be a nice, clean face today. So, as you can hear, the title song's on. So I'm going to talk really loud over it. But yeah, I'm I'm sort of half ready 
for the next scene, which is like, it's Managers 1 is what we call it, but it's prima donna, that scene. And I'm about to get my beautiful leg on, who, by this wave, I can tell, I'm pretty certain, like 99.9% .9 certain, Tiffany, who you met earlier on, styled that, because she loves that wave and she's great at it. So, yeah, exciting times. Uh, nice to be out of the makeup, to be honest, on such a hot day, so. Huzzah! So we are all changed. My beautiful wig is on. Garth's just chilling in the background. And uh, it's tea time. So this is the the rewards for the, the that I'm reaping for pouring a cup of tea earlier on. Still very warm, which is, you know, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, the lid wasn't open, that's why it wasn't coming out. <laughs> there we go. But yeah, a nice little break now, and then manager's one. And then that's me for act one. It's actually, uh, it's a pretty well-paced track, I think, for me, which is nice. Bit of singing, bit of break, bit of singing, bit of break. This is another ritual. <laughs> I sing in everyone's face in this in this <laughs> next scene, and every time I go, oh, I wish I brushed my teeth or had a mint. So now, because I've been drinking like herbal tea, I have a smint before I go down. Because you can never be too fresh. <laughs> how you doing? Yeah, good. How you doing? Yeah, good. Having fun. Here we are, ready to go and shout at each other. Let's shout at each other. I like it. We, we're always complimenting each other. That's actually true. We we'll just do it in a really angry way. Yeah, how dare you? That's exactly it's the way to do it. <laughs> how can you look so handsome all the time? Stop it. Outrageous. Outrageous. Right, prima donna's done. Little water break. And then back on. <laughs> this is basically just where everyone passes me and I'm just like, hi, the whole time. It's so nice. I don't really get to see a lot of people sometimes, so it's nice. I get to say hello to everyone. That's mad. Look at what the heat has done to the wave in my wig. So yeah, act one is done for me. I'm now in my sexy gold pants and uh, purple moon boots. <laughs> uh, ready for masquerade uh, but I don't get the rest of it on until just before I go down because I can't really do anything in it other than like stand and dance and all the things I need to do for masquerade but I can't sit down basically. So yeah having a little bit of uh, a rest now and uh, finishing off my tea. This was made like an hour ago and it's still warm. So great. Anyway I might see some people in the interval and then we've got masquerade. I'm gonna see what I can film in the second act. It's busier for me. Uh, I don't I don't really have a lot of downtime, but I will try and film what I can, and then it'll be time for some dinner. Talking of our wonderful understudies, this is Vic. She's on for oh shush, Phantom. Shut up, Phantom. Ah oh, no, I'm really. No, his head's gone. There we, there go. we go. That's better, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, sorry. So how's it going? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. I've been on since Wednesday, so yes. that was uh, the matinee day. So yeah. I managed to get two. So two. What is that? Two, four, six. Yeah, six, six in a row. In a row. Six in a row. Boom. So That's it lovely. Fun. It is lovely. Aww. Yeah, but it's uh, I, yeah. So really, I enjoyed both playing Jiri and I also enjoyed being in the ensemble. Yeah. Because the girls in the dressing room are fantastic. So that's always lovely. And then it's really nice to just get these moments of like you know pure joy playing this part. Yeah. It, it's a wonderful character. Yeah, and you're awesome. wonderful at it. Thank so. you, but so no, I'm thoroughly enjoying myself. Great, I'm week. so glad. Oh, it's nice to Thanks for chat. chatting to oh, us. Oh, I love to chat. Do you like a, yeah, do you want a cup of tea? Oh, yeah, what we have? Well, what would you like? This oh, is my, this, this biscuit tea is my favourite of all the tea. Ooh. Soph's yet to try it and oh. she's refusing to at the moment, so I need she to get her on yeah, that okay. hype, but and what I'm would you like? I'm a northerner and I'm thinking, well, I've got regular, um, what's that, Yorkshire. Hello? Are you decent? Yay. Hi! Just wanted to come and congratulate you on show 180. 180! 180! What's that in a bingo call? I don't know. That's like the top number that you can get. I think so. Is like, it? It's oh like gosh, the, yeah, it is, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. 
Oh, that means that you're the best in, in, Bill, in Bill's eyes. <laughs> or, or, yeah. That's it. Oh, no, but I've already done like, my Instagram post, but that was... You can edit your post. I, sh I should, shouldn't I? Yeah. One hundred and eighty, <laughs> and it'd be like in you know Bill's uh, in Darts and Ends' voice. Yeah, 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 and do the, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm not, I might do that now. That's cute. Amazing, but yeah, that's like it's amazing though. It's it's not bad, is it? I mean, that's that's like yeah, you were saying earlier. It's like six months of a. <laughs> yeah, if you just put them all together. That's it. Yeah, that's a run. That's like too long. Yeah. Like runs of you know short running musicals or whatever oh, like it's, wild. It's, it's a pleasure. That's it's a pleasure. yeah. Never better than when I'm on with you. A pleasure to be on with you. Absolutely, <laughs> I love it. It's so. Don't, much I feel nervous now. I'm like, oh god, am I oh, going to have an absolutely <laughs> awful? Second well, I got back. stuck on top of the elephant, so we've already got we've already got that out of the way, That's so it's true. fine. So we're all it's good. all good. <laughs> but yeah, and then I just wanted to come and say hi. And also, you're a swing, so like for anyone who doesn't know. How is that and what is it? It's good, yeah, it's good. It's hectic, but um, I'm loving it. It's, you know, it's never, it's never the same. Yeah. Um, Got to have my wits about me. Yeah. But no, it's, I'm loving it. I really, I love the <laughs> challenge and it's beautiful to get to see more of the show. Yeah, of course. Yeah, because yeah. you're like, the swings know the show inside out. That's it. They have to. But yeah. Special. Right, I better go because otherwise Garth is going to kill me because <laughs> we just had beginners. Right, okay, bye. Have a bye. good night too. Bye. Bye, bye Pedro. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you so much. Right. So. Since the last time you saw this costume on the channel, we've added these pink and silver curls. And they're great, they look amazing. But trying to get them all to sit right is my challenge. Uh, I actually can't even see my head, so that's fine. Uh, cool. Thank you, Garth. Welcome. We're happy. Yep, yep. Great. Um, so, yeah, since you last saw this costume, we added these lovely pink and silver curls. Uh, so, yes, that's us ready and ready for act two. Let's go. So, I kind of accidentally lied and said that I didn't put any more makeup on. Uh, I darken my beard and my eyebrows for this bit. So, Don Juan in the last opera. Uh, so yeah, now I've got a fancy costume to get on. Thank you so much. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what am I it <sighs> This is the one. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen this costume because I bow in it, and lots of nice people have taken pictures of me, nice pictures of me in this costume. So you might have seen it already. Got lots of buttons and uh, velcro and buttons. hooks and things to keep it in place, so that's good. I always feel like Henry VIII in this. <laughs> True, actually. Yeah, it's very Henry VIII. <laughs> if sex are ever looking for a Henry VIII in their musical, hit me up. <laughs> Great, thank you so much, happy? Yep, great. Excellent, thank you. Right. And one thing that we do is run a basin full of hot water so that I can take this off quickly later. I don't really need to show you a filling up, but this is, this is what it looks like. <laughs> this is me going down for the last time before the end of the show, so exciting times. Unless I decided to come back up, I could. I do have technically have enough time, but no more stairs if I can help it on a two show day. And that is me done for the show. That's uh, this blue light here. So if someone was asking if there's anywhere that we hang out, there isn't really, uh, or like a snack station, there isn't really, but this is just like in stage door. There's a little <laughs> window seat. And uh, sometimes our lovely stage doorkeeper, like Kira, hi. Sorry, you can't, it's like very blurry on you because of the lighting. It's the light, it's not you. Hi. Hello. And yeah, so you put out some snacks for us, don't you? A little reward yeah, for getting through the show. You deserve it. Thank you so much. <laughs>
Ooh, what have we got? Belts. Yeah. Yeah. I love a belt, me. There's not as many today. There's there not? No. Oh well. We can have one little belt, maybe. Oh yeah. Okay. So yeah, now we just wait till the end of the show, have a little bow, and then dinner time. Here he is, Lenny. Hello, dude. How's yeah. your matinee been? Yeah, it's been really good, actually. Good. Really good. Lovely crowd. Ready to do it all again? Oh yes. After some food. What are you having for dinner? I don't know. I don't know if it's been naughty or good. It is Saturday. Naughty. Oh. Yeah, we both said it at the same time. Yeah, naughty. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, it is. Yeah, We're all on the uh, devil on Len's shoulders. <laughs> oh, right, done for the first show. Woo! Nice and warm. Right, thank you. I'm gonna get this off. I'll see you in a minute. Oh, it's so nice to be out in the cool air. Um, so yeah, this is Haymarket. That's the, actually the Theatre Royal Haymarket. And just up here is the place Olin Steen, where we, well, the last time we got those delicious treats. So let's see what they've got. It's actually, I've just realized, probably quite a bad time to do this now. But we'll see what they've got. We can always, uh, can always just go to Tesco or something. Um, but yeah, and you need some sugary treats. What I like about here as well is that you can see what they have before you go in so you can make a decision. So what do they got? Swirls. Lots of swirls, cinnamon swirls, cinnamon social, yeah, all the good stuff. Change of plan. <laughs> the queue in there was literally like so long, but look at this. I don't know if you'll actually be able to see it, but this is so nice. All the Christmas decorations. Anyway, uh, might just go to Tesco and get a donut or something. Uh -huh. Sad times. I should have done it earlier on. I should have been more organized, but I didn't. So it's my fault. But yeah, this is so nice. I haven't actually seen this bit before. Yeah, so pretty. I like the blue. So I decided just to leave it. None of, none of the things that I could think of were really floating my boat. I wanted a cinnamon social and I messed it up for myself. I should have got one earlier on and I just have to suffer the consequences of not having one. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be able to find something in the dressing room. I usually have snacks, so should be fine. So here we have honey barbecue chicken and protein mac and cheese. And what this basically is, is that the sauce is made from uh, cottage cheese, which gives it a bunch more protein. That's really good. Thanks, past Dave, for making delicious food ahead of time. You're welcome, Corin Dave. I don't know. So, um, about half an hour has passed. As you can see, I'm now ready for, well, makeup-wise, I'm ready for the second show. And I'm just gonna do another little round of... to warm myself back up for show number two. Uh, I'm gonna try and show you a bit more of act two this time. Uh, I'm gonna have to I guess trying to list people if they're available to help with that. Uh, but yeah, obviously I don't want to keep showing you the same stuff. So uh, yeah, I'm going to get ready and then we will see what the second show brings. So <laughs> Garth just told me that he thought it needed to be more festive in here and that he brought a little addition to the dressing room. How cute is that? That's very funny. So thank you, Garth, for making it more Christmassy. Very funny. <laughs> right, so here we go. Ready for the last show of the week, or as they also call it, Saturday night on the worst end. Um, so yeah, exciting times. By the way, the thing that I was trying to say earlier on, I, re I realise there's a few things that I've been starting to explain and then things have just happened and I didn't explain it, but the thing that I was saying that is mine and Felix's favourite thing is this, is a big bit of Velcro. And basically what you have to do is peel the Velcro back and put this microphone in there so it stays in place. But I cannot do it for the life of me. And uh, so sound do it for me when I go down, but he hates it as well. <laughs> Hello again! So, it looks like nothing's happened, but actually, Hannibal's done. 
Uh, and someone actually asked uh, how I remove my makeup. Uh, and how I keep my skin clear, which I would argue is I don't really keep my skin that clear. Uh, I, I'm guessing that sort of this that I told you about earlier on, the, the barrier Marley skin, is probably a lot to do with that. I also do make sure that I properly wash with um, CeraVe, uh, like, what do you call it? Uh, hydrating cleanser at the end of the night and I also moisturize my skin but that is all because Soph told me to do it so uh, but yeah basically how I get this off is that we get given these little bags with our names on them and they come down and they've got these like warm towels uh, with it's sprayed with this thing called hydro oil now I have some extra because this obviously this eye makeup stuff is pretty intense so I spray a little bit extra on the corners and really all I do is sort of like rub it on a little bit hold it there for a few seconds and then it's pretty great it, it's like almost off uh, and the reason I get the extra is because well like I said it's, it's pretty intense but also as you can see now the green sometimes stains my eyebrows, so I just have to sometimes go over those uh, again. <laughs> if you're on a plane and they bring you a hot towel, you feel dead special. So it's really nice um, to have that as well. They look after us very well. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Shuffle, shuffle. <laughs> Just go around this circle. Shuffle, shuffle. Ring, ring, ring. Yeah. Attention! Attention! Dave, stop it! Dave, stop it! Dave, stop it! What's missing to you? Must have been a line. Yeah. Just try it while the eyes help yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's right. I'm going to put your um, second managers in for dry cleaning tonight. Okay. And then this first manager, I'm going to put it in on Thursday next week. Right. Is it great? Okay. Oh, thank you so much. No, no, it's fine. I just wanted to like, show. My big head in the way. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. It's hard to get the angles in here, to be honest, on yeah. that. But yeah. Lovely. Ready for manager's one. Thanks, Gar. Thank you. Artistic photo. <laughs> Artistic. Oh. Hi. Sorry, I thought you were trying to get past. No, so I was trying to run and Hi. Hi. You did this, didn't you? No. No? Did I? Did you? I don't know. Looks like your wave. I don't think yeah, it is. Ask me. I don't think it is. Okay. Look at me. I think that's Rihanna. Okay. Oh, oh hello. There hello. he is. Here comes Raul. Shall we do it? Yes. Sorry. Right. Here we go. It is, Simon? It's me. Hi. Hello, it's me, Simon. Hi, friend. Perfect. Oh, you're perfect. Right. All the act ones of the week. That's it, done. 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 Which means, it's time for Howl's Balls, which I'm very excited about. Dude, how are you talking? I'm so out of breath. With great difficulty. We do have to do a big run around before this, by the way. But yeah. We're not just really unfit. I mean, I am that. <laughs> oh, well done. Well done. Woo! Wow. <laughs> I didn't realise quite how sweaty I was. Pretty sweaty. So yeah, act one is done. Which now means it's time for Howl's Balls, which I didn't tell you before. Um, in case it wasn't clear, it's basically kind of like a cast lottery. Everyone puts a pound in and then they draw a ball. And uh, you can win some money, which is always fun on a Saturday night. But the thing that's really cool about it is that they always get someone to introduce it. And so we'll be getting some like pretty, pretty famous people. Adina Menzel, um, for anyone in the UK, you probably know Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen. There's been, in fact, there's been probably more famous people than that that I just can't remember. Um, so I'm interested, it's always interesting to see who it is. Um, so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll hear that when it comes up, which is uh, in the interval of this show, so in about 10 minutes basically. So I'm just going to chill out, I'm going to wait for uh, lovely Innes to come and take my wig off, and then we'll go down, I'm going to try and take you down for a little bit of masquerade before masquerade starts, like, because we go down 
obviously a little bit before because everyone's a beginner who's in it. Um, so yeah, we can go down and see some people's costumes and uh, and yeah, hopefully we'll, we'll get some fun stuff for the second act this time. But yeah, oh, now I can actually breathe. I do, yeah, it's like, there's like a, basically got to run from one side of the stage to the other, got to be quick otherwise, um, there's like a, a big piece of set that you, either you, or if you're quick you can beat it, but otherwise you have to wait for quite a while. So we try and run past that and then we basically just run upstairs, like four flights of stairs, so, um, yeah, now, I, now I've sat down, now I've changed and everything, I can just like, and uh, yeah, I'll have a little bubble of my voice. It's just nice to just kind of keep it ticking over. But yeah, good times. Hi. Good evening to all of you at His Majesty's Theatre on this Christmassy Saturday evening. Steve right here, serious jockey, no G. Okay, folks, after a long two weeks, Howl's back, and it's time for him to unleash his balls. Okay, ready? <laughs> Please welcome the one and only Howl. Good evening, everybody. Yes, it's Saturday night in the West End, which means it's time for Howl's Balls. Now, before we play the balls this week, I must just let you know that next week we have a very special Christmas edition of Howl's Balls. Ooh. Howl's Jingle Balls. Oh, yeah. Yes. You can buy as many numbers as you like, and it will be five pounds per <laughs> ball. Five pounds per ball, but there will be multiple prizes. Oh, yes. yes. Without further ado, let's move on to the balls this week, and let's see if we can get a winner. Now, the prize total this evening is 40 pounds. Four zero, 40 pounds, thank you. And our winning ball this week is ball number... 43, ball 43, I don't believe it's a previous winner, ladies and gentlemen. It's Manon from oh. Wigs. She has Yay! the prize this week. Woo! Oh, so oh, Thank you very much for playing, and we'll see you next week for a festive edition of Howl's Jingle Ball. Yay! <laughs> I didn't win Howl's Balls, but I'm okay with it. Someone else did. But next week is Christmas Jingle Balls. <laughs> so, uh, there's many prizes for that one, so fingers crossed. But uh, but it's always a bit of fun. I love Howl's Balls. <laughs> Wait, what? Here we go. Oh, hilarity's happening upstairs. Here we go. Oh, hi. Hi. How you doing? Hello. Double crisp, dude. Hi, it's so good. Oh, there was yeah. Wow. Wow. Welcome to the masquerade ball, everybody. <laughs> the audience is just through there. And then here is all of the stairs. And Zoe. Hi, how are you? You having a good show? Yay! Saturday on the West End. Saturday! 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 We're actually friends. Actually, done with her. Oh! This is the the true love story of the Opera Populaire. If you check out my TikTok. Yeah, do it. I'll I will drop we'll drop it here. Definite. Yeah. You two are outrageous. We really hate each other here and we don't have any fun whatsoever, as you can tell. Hey, hey. Scottish hey baby, oh, you're beautiful. Saturday night in the West End. Saturday night in the West End. Count how many times we've said that in this vlog. <laughs>
Sorry? Just my little chin. Just your chin. Hello. A chin cameo. <laughs> and a hand. And a hand. No! <laughs> and that is how he died. <laughs> I don't even know how you're watching this footage because I, I am no longer. <laughs> it's your ghost. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and the ghost says, don't. Mess with the wiggies, yes. otherwise or else. <laughs> you'll be dead very soon. <laughs> Bye. Thank you so much. If I don't see you, have a wonderful weekend. Oh, yeah, you weekend. Thank you so much. Hi, thank you. One last scene, and then. We're done for the weekend. Garth is very excited about it. <laughs> and that's it, double show day. Uh, I'm just gonna wash all of this off my face because I look like a pirate. And then, uh, and then yeah, we're gonna head home. What a great day. Thank you so much for coming with me. Um, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna finish the vlog right now, but, uh, but yeah, I just, I've just i really enjoyed showing you everything. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Um, but Thank yeah. you so much for this evening's performance and we this go. week. Right, so. See you later. <laughs> See you later. That's us. Oh, it's been such a good week, but it has been a long week. So I'm excited to go home. And I get to go back home to Soph Barney and Chip tomorrow, but it's gonna be an early start. So I'm going straight home. No drinks for me tonight. Just, not that I drink drink, but I do like to go for a drink with people if I can. But yeah. Home time, early start. Right. Thanks, Kira. Thank you. Nice. Thanks for being such a star. See Love you. Later. She's my new videographer. Oh yeah. So. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Hi, Dave. Thanks, mate. Bye, Dave. Get back Bye. Thank you so much. Have a lovely Sunday. Right, this is where I can't find my, this is where I can't find my pass, but I definitely have it. Right, here we go. Thank you, night night. Oh my goodness, I don't think I've ever been as ready for my bed as I am right now. So, wow, and I'm so excited because I've got to keep my voice down, but I have an early train tomorrow and I'm going home to see Soph and Barney and Chip and just spend some time with the family. So I can't wait to get to sleep because I can't wait to wake up and go home. Um, but thank you so much for watching this video. I really, if you made it to this point in the video, I just, I can't even thank you enough. It really, it really means the world. I appreciate you. And I've really been loving, ooh.
Sorry, lost focus there. But I have really been loving the last couple of weeks of the show. Um, previous to that, I had um, I had I'd got quite ill and I lost my voice and I had to take quite a bit of time off and it was really really hard and just been able to be there and do all the shows and you know do two shows in a day which you know is something that I've been able to do for as long as I remember and then all of a sudden I, I really couldn't do it for you know a few weeks and and I don't know I just have this real appreciation for the ability to do my job, a job that I love and uh, I really enjoyed taking you along with me today so thank you so much for watching. If you want to see any more of this type of content definitely let us know because we could certainly arrange that, let us know what you want to see. I tried to show you a bit of everything today uh, and I'm sure I will see you very soon with Soph, with Barney and with Chip. Um, for some more videos but thanks again don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good stuff and I love you so much thank you 